Chuck Stanger, a retired firefighter, has had bad knees for decades. Every time I would kneel down or go to climb a ladder on the fire department and doing squats when I was working out, I could feel it, but I, I worked with it. He was diagnosed with osteoarthritis, a condition that wears away the cartilage between the bones of the knee. It's progressive, and at some point, the knee may need to be replaced. But researchers at Ohio State University's Wexner Medical Center fitted him with this new device instead. A shock absorber, it really looks like a car shock absorber, is going to be placed right on the inside part of the knee to take some of the load off that inner portion of the knee and shift it towards the outside part of the knee. This animation shows how it works. It takes pressure off the joint, reducing pain and slowing the advance of the osteoarthritis that generally leads to most knee replacements. I think if we're successful with that, that will de decrease the number of total joints that are required in the United States year by year. These are only increasing. And what we're trying to do is limit that as much as possible. For Chuck, the Calypso knee system, as it is called, could delay knee replacement surgery by decades while easing his pain and letting him get on with his life. I want to be able to start doing some of the things I used to do. There are about 600,000 knee replacement surgeries done in the U.S. every year. And according to the World Health Organization, osteoarthritis afflicts between 10 to 15 percent of the world population. If this surgery goes well, the procedure should become widely available in the U.S. sometime in the next five to ten years. Kevin Enix, VOA News.